So Tanner Reclitus of Tread Athletics had one of the most amazing posts on Twitter today, and I'm going to share this video linked to that tweet. And it was about the basically the sequence of how the upper body works in the forward throw and alluding to the fact that the reverse throw should work exactly the same. So we're going to talk about the reverse throw in this video um, because he, he nailed it. It's exactly 100% true. Uh, reverse throws, I see a lot of these reverse throws just getting butchered, not being taught the right way, and being done poorly. And we see it all the time at our facility, and I harp all the time on how to do reverse throws the right way. Um, the really important thing is, is that when you're doing a reverse throw, it's literally a reverse throw. So if we're going to throw the right way, as Tanner said in his tweet, the last thing that's going to happen is thoracic rotation in the forward throw. So that should be the last, that should be the first thing that happens in the reverse throw. And a lot of times you don't see that. You just see the arm moving. There's no rotation. So one, you need to make sure your athletes are doing the reverse throw properly and in a sequential order. So read Tanner's tweet. Uh, it's phenomenal. Um, and the other thing that we really talk about is keeping the knee pointed straight ahead. So if you're a right-handed thrower doing a reverse throw, your right knee's on the ground, your left knee is going to be up. So your left foot's gonna be flat on the ground. That left knee should not be caving in, rotating out. It needs to be stable, pointed straight ahead as you do the reverse throw. Now the importance of the rotation in the reverse throw is that almost all baseball and softball players are righty-righty or lefty-lefty. So when they throw, they're rotating the same direction as when they hit. So we're getting overloaded, rotating to one side. If we do not work the decelerators multiple ways, whether it's for stability, whether it's with anti-rotation with things like paloff presses, or whether it's um, with medicine balls for power, we're going to set ourselves up for injury. Also, we're going to set ourselves up to be unable to stabilize the way we need to stabilize when we rotate. And we're going to set ourselves up into a position where we can't decelerate properly. And if you can't, if you know anything about how the kinematic sequence works in anything, segments that move earlier need to decelerate so the segments that move later can accelerate. So if you're throwing, your pelvis needs to decelerate so your torso can accelerate. Your torso needs to decelerate so your shoulder and arm can accelerate, so on and so forth. So by working reverse throws the right way and making sure there's a uh, thorax rotation involved at the proper time, we're working that ballistically. So we're working that reverse movement to help with deceleration, help with stabilization, help to reduce injury. And we're also developing motor development, motor feel, proprioception, whatever you want to call it, to eventually allow that movement to take place properly in an authentic situation, like throwing or pitching when we do it forward. So make sure you're doing those reverse throws the right way. I will also, um, I'm going to tweet after this, a video of me explaining how we use the reverse throw in our series of warmups.